For the last few weeks, I've been talking with you about operation scale supply. The gist of it is we need to be removing 285 million tons of carbon dioxide per year by 2030. Today, I'm responding to questions about, you know, isn't it the, the, the length of time that the carbon is removed that's most important right now? You know, as we're comparing these different types of solutions from direct air capture to, to soil-based carbon. Uh, so here's what's happening right now. Right now, we have big corporates interested in purchasing carbon removal and making it part of their net zero and their sustainability goals. These are companies like JP Morgan signing up to spend hundreds of millions of dollars on carbon removal credits. At the same time, according to a recent Boston Consulting Group report, we're only on track to remove 33 million tons of carbon dioxide cumulatively by 2030, far short of the 285 million tons per year uh, that, we, that we need. So here's what happens if we don't take new action. So we stay on track and we remove those 33 million tons by 2030, but that's not enough to actually hit uh, the, the corporate targets that are being set today. For example, Apple's uh, emissions last year were 20 million uh, tons. So it's, it's you know, the, the 33 million tons really doesn't, doesn't work to meet those carbon rule targets that companies are gonna have in 2030. That's a world where policymakers and governments and people look back on these carbon commitments and, and they say, look, this just isn't really working. The, the, while there was a supply crunch, it actually just turns out there's just not enough of this stuff at all to, to meet the goals that we have. So that's a world where you know, the momentum is lost and the carbon removal as a pathway disappears. So here's what we get to do today instead. We get to remove tons by almost any means necessary. We might remove tons that are short-term. We're gonna remove tons that are long-term. We're gonna remove tons that are hard to measure, tons that are controversial, tons that raise questions, and that's totally okay. We're building a carbon economy. It's a future trillion dollar industry. That's a world where we get to 230, 285 million tons per year by 2030. And that's when policymakers and governments and people unlock the really big money to go big on carbon removal. That's where we get to focus on then improving quality, improving how long the carbon is removed through natural competition with the companies in the industry. A launchpad company said, a graduate said this, said this best this morning. Right now, the biggest competition isn't for other companies that are removing carbon. Our biggest competitor right now is inaction, ignorance, and irre irrelevance. So my question for you is, what is your contribution to getting to 285 million tons by 2030? What's your plan for all the rest of the carbon besides what your solution is removing? And this is, this is if you're a startup, if you're an investor, if you're a corporate buyer, or somebody else working on reversing climate change.